What's up guys, I'm Vocal Strike, and welcome back to Let's Play Perfect Dark Zero. Last time, we went through the simulation Dedacore Demolition, which is the tutorial level. This time, we are doing the first actual real mission. Nightclub Stakeout at Hong Kong. Let's, uh, let's get to it. Uh, secret agent as always. Okay, kid. Here's your chance to show me you're ready for a live op. Chandra just got off the wire. Word is some scientist named Ziegler has been snatched by a local triad gang. I've been monitoring their comms. They're trading this Ziegler guy to a bunch of suits on the mainland. Straight up cash deal. For the kind of money I can only dream about. Good thing for Ziegler he's got friends with deep pockets. Right, Chandra? He's got a private benefactor waiting to pay top dollar for his extraction. The plan is, Jack goes in and snatches him before they make the trade. While I'm inside, I need you to ID the enforcers that patrol the perimeter. Remember, that gun is for your protection. Stay out of sight. They can't shoot what they can't see. Radio in if you need help. Jack, your call signs point forward. Joe, your dog zero. I'll be ready with the powerboat for the getaway. One last thing. If the lead starts flying, I want both of you to get to safety. I can look after myself. Understood? Good. Suit up and move out. Call me on approach. Okay. Now we have our mission. And... <clears throat> We're getting two new gadgets this time. The Loctopus and the Audioscope. Which is going to be a very big help on this mission. We are also starting with the P9P, which is also going to be mandatory. Guess what we have to deal with? I'll give you a hint, it involves the silencer. So, invent- but let's also talk about the inventory real quick. The inventory basically allows you to choose what gadgets and what weapons you want to bring to a mission. If it's your first time playing a mission, you cannot change the gad gadgets. You are stuck with that mission's default loadout. Um, and there is a bunch of other guns that you're not seeing here. Um, you see how there are four weapon slots and two gadget slots. You can only choose two gadgets no matter what. The weapon slots, on the other hand, you can have a minimum of one to two, maximum of four weapons. How this works is that each weapon takes up a certain number of slots. Pistols like the P9P usually take up one slot. If you want to do wield uh, P9, two P9Ps, uh, you will... Uh, you will take up your slots, whereas other weapons like shotguns and rifles also take up two slots. Uh, uh, SMGs usually take up two slots, excuse me. And heavy machine guns and sniper rifles, you know, the real big weapons, take up three slots. So you basically need to kind of manage your inventory to better suit the situation. Uh, the, the reason why you're kind of seeing other weapons here is because I did do this mission before. This is basically my second time recording this because the video, the initial recording got lost. Uh, it's a, I tried to, uh, I tried to convert it from M. MBK through to MP4 using a different uh, system that I installed and it corrupted the files and there was no way I could recover it. So this is my second attempt at recording this and I also didn't know OBS would com can convert uh, files, uh, videos from one file setup to the other. Now I know. So, we're going to be using that. 
this video wasn't the initial video was supposed to go up yesterday as of this recording and because i didn't realize it was an mbk file it wouldn't process so it was pretty much a big old bunch of technical difficulties but enough about that let's get to it Jack's sword was a straightforward extraction. He should have called by now. Bring us in close, Chandra. Dark Zero, this is point forward. I'm in. Dark Zero, in position. The club's owned by local gang lord Killian. It's a front for his real business. Gun running, people smuggling, real nasty work. While I extract Ziegler, I need you to take the audio scope and grab positive IDs off Killian's enforcers. Chandra will sell whatever intel you snag on the net. Stay out of the club. Use your gun only as a last resort. Keep your head down. Sure. Chandra, let's do this. Everything's in the green. Keep it that way, all right? Hit the ground running, kid. Stay safe. Yeah, as you can probably guess, this is a stealth mission. We have to identify enforcers. What with this trade going down, Killian's enforcers are sure to be out patrolling the perimeter. They're wanted in connection with an attack that left the stakeout team sucking food through tubes. Needless to say, stay well hidden. Make sure you spot the enforcers before they spot you. You'll need to use your audio scope to identify them. Track down the enforcer, hit the right trigger, and hit the right trigger. The scope will zoom in and target automatically. Sit tight while it confirms their ID, then get the hell out of there. There's a little scope there's little scope for maneuver. You need two out of three enforcers identified. If you are playing this on easy difficulty, uh, you only have to identify one enforcer. So and there is one enforcer that no matter what you're gonna be able to scan. The other two will be able to spot you, so you need to be careful around those. If two out of three of those enforcers spot me, it is mission failure and we have to start all over from the start of the mission again. Yay! Stealth segments in an FPS. They go, they go about as well as oil and water. So let's get rid of you. Anybody? Uh. How did I? Oh well. And he's not in the mood for talking. Fix the problem, and we'll find another target. Okay, now we got the Falcon. Uh, the Falcon is a pretty okay pistol. It's special ability though is, well, not exactly good. Oh. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, 
Ugh. How did I miss that first shot on the guy? That's what screwed this all up. Doesn't help that I'm really being a bad shot for some reason. I'm usually better at headshots than this. Anyway, the Falcon. Uh, the Falcon's a decent pistol, but it's secondary fire, like its ability, isn't all that great. It's literally you empty the clip, you throw it, and then it empties out the entire clip in random directions. And if I recall correctly, this does, this can hurt you. I've never seen this clear out of room. I've never seen this kill There's anybody. Um, it's just not a good ability. Now we have the, oh, what's this called? Def 12 shotgun? Yeah. Uh, the tertiary mode is Mimic. Okay, yeah, the secondary mode, this one is called Firecracker. The secondary mode of the Dev-12 shotgun is a radar. The bar underneath the ammo is, shows how long your radar lasts. Okay, so I have to scan this one. You even listening to me? What? You need to identify the enforcers. Your reckless actions have cost us the mission. Over and out. How? How did he see me? Great, now I gotta restart the mission. Let's try this again. Once more with feeling. There's the enforcer. Watch out! You're near an enforcer. Get your audio scope. Aim at him and wait for a positive ID. Can you grab an ID of that enforcer with your audio scope? This kind of weather might be pleasant. Ceramic kneecap. Lost the last one after Laos boys took me out to lunch and I ordered up the menu. Okay, okay, we're good. Uh, let's get rid of this notification because it's gonna bug me if I. Okay. Okay, this is actually turning out a lot better. Okay, the Loctopus. The Loctopus, you have to rotate the left stick to a direction until the green light glows and shrinks. Do that enough times and you instantly uh, go through. Think the 
enforcer can spot you from there. Equip your audio scope, Joe. You know the score. Grab an ID off that enforcer. This book's real vicious. Thought I'd try and beat it, and it hit me with a taser, I tell ya. If they don't pay up, I'm gonna wipe its memory chip. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, please don't see me. They got the note. I swear, I was typing away, and up pops this damn paperclip. I knew you could do it. Okay, work your way back to the pier while I get Jack on the line. This is Dark Zero. Identify yourself. Over. Something's interfering with Jack's transmission. I can't get through. Dark Zero! I'm taking heavy fire! Be right there! I told you to keep out of harm's way, kid! That was before you got in it. Chandra, I'm going in. I got a pipe. Okay, now we gotta locate Jack Dark. You sure you know what you're doing? This is no simulation. Jack's in serious trouble. I got a lock on his transmission. He's upstairs in the club. The best of Killian's men are going to be well armed, so you need to stay focused. Get inside and work your way up there now. I want, if memory serves, which could totally be wrong because my memory is garbage. I think the exit that we want to take is um Joe, I got a heads up on the club. The place is full of civilians. We can't chance any casualties. Hit the fire alarm and clear them out. Okay, so now we got our secondary objective, evacuate civilians. You can, you can say one thing about Killian's game, they sure know how to throw a party. The club's packed. Trouble is, we can't risk any civilian casualties. Killian's guys won't lose any sleep if they put a hole in someone, but you'll lose your license. Hit the fire alarm and your job's gonna be a whole lot easier. What? That should have hit. That should have hit. Okay. Oh. Okay. Inside the club, there are metal detectors. So if we go in with our guns, uh, we will. You packed your octopus. Now's the time to use it. Um, if we go through those metal detectors, those alarms will blare, and everyone inside the club will know you're there. However, there is a way around this. And for those of you who want to know where that third enforcer is, you ride up this elevator, and there he is. But yeah, that's where the third enforcer is, and as far as to my knowledge, he can never ever actually find you, or see you rather. You really have to try for him to see you. Now, the UGL. This looks like you can do something, but you can't. Oh well. Wait, who's shooting? What? I didn't even mean to do that. Damn it. Yeah, now I see you. He's down there. 
As far as my knowledge, he can never actually see you. As far as my knowledge, he can't actually see you. Anyway, the UGL. Oh, there's the first enforcer. Oh, I don't want to be near those. I don't want to be near those. Mechanical interface. Use your Loctopus. Uh, the UGL is an SMG. Um, and its uh, secondary fire is secondary function. Is, uh, is basically setting up a booby trap. You throw the gun, which means you're ga effectively getting rid of it. You're throwing away the gun, and the gun is a sent becomes a mine, blowing up and doing massive damage. Anyway, I only went back here to get the UGL. <laughs> anyway, if you want to avoid... The, uh... If you want... If you want If you want to avoid the metal detectors, you are coming in down here. And honestly, no one can hear the gun. Uh the fire alarm is right there. This is out, almost out. I might as well toss it. Matter of fact, this would have to be possibly a good. Ah, uh, that did not go as planned. That was a horrible idea. Dude, don't go into a fist fight with someone with a gun. Come on, poke your head out. I swear, I'm normally a much better shot than this. Oh, that's where it is. Jack signals coming from upstairs. 
Ah. Okay, so there's one up there. What are we dealing with? Lately, it hasn't been very good, sir. Yeah, the radar lasts for a good while. So we, I'm personally not much of a shotgun guy. I rather use pistols and sniper rifles and keep my distance. But honestly, the shotgun in this game is actually still worth using due to the fact of that radar alone. I think we got a problem. I heard a gun. She's reloading. Goodbye. Oh. You took a shotgun to the face. How did you survive? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a gun. Okay, okay, so you're high enough there, I think? But honestly, yeah, the war. I think this is. I think this level has the only stealth section in the entire game. I could be wrong. It has been years since I played this, and I am going off of memory. Don't stand a chance against that thing. Oh my God! What's my aim? I swear, I'm usually a much better shot than this. Okay, need to get upstairs. Oh, this is where the enforcer was. Thanks for the ammo, dude. So yeah, uh, you should also probably snipe that enforcer, otherwise you would have to deal with him too. And Head upstairs, Joe. Jack signals above here. you. Uh, not seeing anyone on the radar. Okay, yeah, so I was actually mistaken about that bar. That bar doesn't tell you how long. It stays on as long as you have the shotgun equipped or until you press the right bumper again. The bar is literally just a cooldown. Yeah, as you can probably guess, I'm the type of person that reloads whenever they get the chance. So even if there's one bullet 
left in the chamber, I still reload. Bullet still left in the gun, I still reload. So... Okay, I think... Be... It, I'm not seeing or picking up anyone else on the radar. Ooh. in your plans. Schematics shows the top floor is protected by auto guns. Details on your depot. Okay, there's one there. Disable sentry guns, which is our second support of the mission. I'm telling you, Killian is one paranoid son of a bitch. Network showing multiple sentry guns on the top floor. I can't do much from here. We're gonna have to take them out. You're gonna have to take them out yourself. Shoot them down, sneak past, or disable them at the control console. For Jack's sake, just do it quickly. Okay, the control panel, if I recall, is in here past this locked door. Uh, come on, I know it's here. There it is. Sensory guns are offline. Now get to Jack quickly. Now we don't have to worry about the sentries. And if I recall, there's guys in there, not going to waste the ammo. Okay, this looks like this is where Jack was in the cutscene. And I believe this is it. Yes, it is. It, we Joe, made it. Fired. Don't sweat it. I saved you the job. Ziegler? Yeah? I'm getting you out of here. Can you walk? I think so. How much is it gonna take to leave him here? Say that again. This is a money gig for you, right? Whatever you're getting to rescue him, I'll double it for you to take a walk instead. Shut up, before I drop you like a bad conversation. Aw, uh, come on. What's it to you, old man? There's no such thing as good and bad anymore. Just business. Name your price. Let me think. Wait! You can't! He's trying to ransom me and my research off to- I told you I'm thinking about whether I should shoot you before Ziggler and I get out of here. shoulder, a mission in pieces, and I think he just busted my ego. Okay, and that's mission two. Probably one of the worst missions in the game. Again, you can correct me if I'm wrong since my memory is garbage. I think that only ha this mission has the only stealth segment in the game. But anyway, in the next episode, we are going on to level to mission two, Subway Retrieval at Hong Kong. See you guys then. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, see you guys then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.